decisions, but those five zip scorelines don't show you the quality of the uh, opposition and how tight some of those bouts were. Many of the scorecards, 29-28, they were very tight. And then uh, across from him, Jonas Jonas had the extra fight. Referee's top contest in the second. Head up, no holding, no low blow. Listen to my command, okay? So it's Canada and Namibia. It's Jonas of Namibia in the blue. Blumenfeld, his opponent. Get another southpaw. Jonas will switch. Blumenfeld has landed a couple of little hooks so far. There's another one. Yeah. Left hand for Blumenfeld. Some good scoring punches there from Jonas as well. And, and interestingly, it's Jonas that uh, is looking to dominate ring position, looking to bring the fight. Very physically strong. Oh, yeah. Jonas, Jonas. He looks much, much bigger than his opponent. And of course, amateur boxers weigh in every day. Every day that they fight, they weigh in. You don't get to weigh in once at, uh, at 64 kilos at the start of the tournament and then uh, build yourself up after that. You've got to make the weight every morning. Hard punches from Jonas. Jonas, yeah. Blumenfeld is 20 years old. He is so skillful and so so baby-faced, but gee, he is tough. He is weathering some hard punches in there from a, a re real cagey operator. Yeah, and that's a lovely change of angle. You, you love that little move to, to your, the right-hand side and the... You drill the overhand right to the side of the opponent's head. Another right hand scored. He's He's working, Jonas. He's certainly throwing a, a, a lot of punches. Don't wait, don't wait. Don't wait. Come back. Nice footwork. Bravo. And to the first round, Blumenfield, the Canadian, Jonas from Namibia. What'd you make of it, Paul? I'm just. Uh, really blown away by the physical strength of Jonas. He is so physically uh, imposing. Uh, the, the skills that we're seeing from Blumenfeld in, in there with a very awkward opponent, I think he is incredibly skillful and, and very uh, calm and composed for a young guy in, in the ring with a very dangerous, difficult guy. It's an interesting round. Long arms and throws them at uh, at awkward angles at times, doesn't he, Jonas? Yes, and Blumenfeld kept himself together pretty well. Out for the second round of this gold medal bout. Men's light welterweight, 64 kilos.
He was really roughed up a bit in that first round, John. Blumenfeld? Yes. Yeah. Just, just roughed up a bit by this very, very strong man from Namibia. And, and Jonas continues to, to, to pressure. He's, he's the one that's dominating centre ring. As Blumenfeld tries to work his way back to centre ring there, but uh, Jonas is just keeping his back on the ropes, and that's really nice work. Just continues to stalk him. Interesting call from the uh, the corner from Blumenfeld's corner. Breathe, breathe. Right, I think the pressure is relentless from Jonas Jonas. Nice right hand, just as we were saying that. Oh, he spat the, that's been knocked out. I shouldn't say he spat it because that came straight out right. when he was hit. Warning to keep his mouth closed. <laughs> He'll get a warning for this, but I actually like that work from Blumenfeld. Just trying to take a little bit of the strength out of Jonas. Midway through the fight now, this is uh, the midway point of the second round. <laughs> Mouthpiece out again. Give him an extra rest. He's going to get another little warning for that, I'm sure. Yep. And of course, it's not something he's bought of a local chemist and, uh, and, and, and stuck in hot water. You would hope not. <laughs> he's, he's landing a nice right hook at times, Blumenfeld. Just, Jonas is incredibly strong. He is awkward. He has excellent eyes. He sees punches very well. And he is incredibly strong. The other interesting thing about Jonas is the way the offer just lifts that left hand up. It's not even a jab. He just sort of lifts it up and waves it there, maybe, maybe taps you with it, just to keep you thinking. And then on other times, he'll, he'll drill it down. And see, there it was there. That was just a little tap range point. I know where you are. I can hit you if I want. And I'll bring the right hand over the top instead. Yeah. He, he conceals it all quite well, John, but he is supremely skilled. Oh, he's that's that again. Piece again. This is the third time. And our referee may lose a bit of patience with this. He will lose a point on this occasion. Yep. Yeah, third time. Point's been deducted. And that'll be critical. So the end of the second round, and just on that point, if you're only just joining us for the first time during these games, that point's deducted at the end. If, if you felt, not that I think many people would have, but if you felt that Blumenfeld had won that round 10-9, then that is the way you would score that round, and the point would be deducted at the end when the scorecard are tallied. Hard punches from Jonas. I, I actually think Thomas Blumenfeld is a very mentally strong young man. I think he is so mentally strong, but he's in with this guy who's, Jonas is really something special. He is extremely strong. It was a great final four years ago, Paul, it really was. And, uh, and as I mentioned, you know, he, he, he lost to the local. It right. was really, really good contest though. Third and final round, we've got Canada and Namibia. Jonas Jonas of Namibia in the blue. Thomas Blumenfeld. And he's, looks like he's going to try and come out and bring the fight to uh, Jonas, but Jonas is again trying to dominate Saddle Ring. He, he's done it once more. There's a, there's a mental toughness about this young Canadian that I am just in awe of, John. I think he has a mental... Uh, 
some grit about him that is just incredible. Jonas Jonas, I think, is really something special. And Bloomingfield, knowing that he's behind, is trying to come forward on him. That, that body work from Jonas is nice. It takes some ticket to do what Blumenfeld's doing right now, though. And still, Jonas Jonas is deforcing back. The warning about using the shoulder in there. Nice work from the Canadian. At the midway point of the last round. And Jonas will be thinking to himself, his mission now is just to pick up points and stay away. As Blumenfield keeps coming forward, he's been going backwards for the first two rounds, and here he is trying to lift, trying to grab himself a gold medal, trying to find somehow that tough punch that will put his opponent down. And he's taking an enormous amount of punishment. And he's delivering some punishment as well, John. I'm, I'm quite in awe of this kid. I think he is extremely mentally strong to take those hard punches and still be... Oh, a hard punch from Jonas. And still be uh, boxing quite well. Still still trying to win the bout, but actually boxing quite well. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not throwing from the rafters, is he? He's, yes. He, he's, he's stayed tight. He's, he's, That's... Uh, We've got a problem. Is that the gum the again? again? Okay, he's already lost a point for this. And again, she has no choice. Right. And he's still searching for that knockout, which is what he needs. Oh, good he's on him. Some great punches. He is game. It's all over. What a performance from Jonas Jonas and Thomas Blumenfield. How tough is he? I think it's a very skillful, classy, fast opponent. But, uh, just had a little bit too much for him, as simple as that. And yet he just kept on looking for that big shot that he needed. It, it, it just felt at times like a light, a light welterweight against a middleweight. Blumenfeld had some great moments, particularly in that last round. So Jonas Jonas has gone one better than he did four years ago when he took the silver. He's won every round bar one.